All right, well, here's a quick test. I, I looked online, was looking for a way to test the pH of my soil without sending it off or buying a kit. And I read that you can use vinegar, which is this right here, and baking soda to do the test to determine if it's extremely acidic or extremely alkaline. If you put dirt in vinegar and it fizzes, it will be alkaline. If you put it in baking soda and water and it fizzes, it will be acidic. So let's go ahead and test the theory. This is some dirt fresh out of my garden. I went down and got some moist dirt that didn't have any wood or plants in it. And we'll put a little bit in the vinegar. Mm. Not really seeing anything happen. Couple small bubbles, and that's it. Let's try the baking soda. It's good to find some dirt that doesn't have any rocks or anything in it. Not really seeing anything happen. There should be a chemical reaction that causes it to fizz up. Let's try the test with the baking soda again because the baking soda will settle in the water and I didn't shake it up after doing it the first time. So let's make sure the baking soda is mixed in that little bit of water really well. And then Put our dirt in there. I'm not seeing any reaction from either the vinegar or the baking soda. So I'm thinking that my soil is probably neither very acidic or very alkaline. It's probably near neutral. Let's see here. I gave got a little few little notes here. It, this might be a neat test for you to try because it's basically chemistry. Vinegar is acid, baking soda is alkaline. And uh, the pH scale 7.0 is neutral. 6.0 would be acidic and uh, 7.5 would be alkaline. Plants, from what I saw online, which you know, and in books, I'm not 100% sure if this is positive, but they prefer a pH between 6 and 6.5. So plants prefer acidic soil, but they don't want it too acidic and they can handle soil up to 7.5. Each plant is different. Some like a little more acidic or a little more alkaline soil, but you can see there there's no reaction whatsoever. It should fizz up. But we'll do one more test just to see if this theory is even possible. Okay, we're gonna do one more test just to see if this, just so we can see the reaction that we should be getting. Take a little bit of water. Add some baking soda. Mix it up really well. So the baking soda is completely dissolved in the water. And now we'll put some vinegar right in it. See that? There's the chemical reaction you're looking for. 
when the acid comes in contact with the uh, alkaline substance there's a chemical reaction and it causes it to foam up and the two neutralize each other out. Now I can do the same thing going the opposite way. This is the vinegar that I did my soil test with. The dirt is still in there but if I put a little baking soda in it it foams right up. really foams up. I did the same thing with my baking soda soil sample. I put some dirt in there and uh, put some vinegar in there and it foamed right up too. So the theory works and by adding the water which is a variable because water can be either acidic or alkaline uh, that didn't affect the test because it still foams up even with the water in there. So that tells me that my soil is neither heavily alkaline or heavily acidic. But it might be something neat for you to try at home with your soil. So what does that tell me? Well, nothing really. It tells me that my soil is neither heavily acidic and it's also not heavily alkaline. So it's probably pretty good for growing in. If I wanted to find out more, I'd have to send a soil sample in to the uh, county extension office or something like that, or get a soil test kit and actually test the pH of the soil. But that requires buying stuff, that requires spending money on gas, and this is something that I can do right here at the house with stuff that I have on hand water, baking soda, and vinegar, and dirt. If you did find out that your soil was uh, too alkaline, you could add some uh, sulfur or pine needles to the soil. Pine needles will make it more acidic. And if you found out that the soil was too acidic, then you could either add some lime, which you can buy in the store, or you can add uh, wood ash to the soil, and that will uh, bring the alkalinity up. That's pretty much it. I just wanted to do that test. It's something I read about and saw, and uh, thought it would be neat to give it a try. So maybe you could try it at home and see what the results are for you. Does your uh, soil fizz up when you put vinegar on it? Or baking soda? Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, talk to you guys later. Thanks for all the comments. Thanks for all the support.